going back to Norway, several meetings, really exciting prospects actually. Just waiting for a land, he'll be here very shortly and then we'll be on our way to Oslo. teach the project management team all the tricks of Excel really, so anything from formulas, condition formatting, making graphs, but hopefully it's going to make us a little bit better presenting some data. Something a little bit different as well, it's nice to do a bit of training. Landed and got a one. Welcome back. How's it going? It's going good, it's going lovely and I've missed everyone. We're at Ina's place and we are about to bring a little bit of UK cuisine to the Nordics. Toad in the hole. Start prepping. This is the beautiful storyboard for a new animation that we're going to do. It's going to be a little how to use for one of our solutions called Engage. It is a live real-time quiz. So we need to show how easy it is for a user to download and get straight onto a quiz within seconds and how this quiz can be accessed from any location. At the moment, I'm kind of working my way through the storyboards. I've got a list of specific frames that I need to design. I've done the first one, which is someone sat in their living room, and then the next one is someone sat in a classroom. It just kind of shows that everyone can join wherever they are, and no matter what they're doing. Good morning. We are going to meet manager of a mega store, and we're going to demonstrate LiDAR. Having a look around, um, just checking things out. Met the manager, really impressed. We're going around showing him in ways in which we can improve conversions. Dina and I are off to Charlotte University for a meet the professionals with marketing communications students. We're just talking to them about how we got to where we are today, the problems we have faced, uh, how much we love marketing and communications. Now we're heading to our next meeting. Just met this wonderful owner of Opland Burger and Steak. We had a great meeting. We're going to put some figures together and come back to her later with a proposition. What do you think, Sue? Very good. Fantastic. We're back in the office after our little adventure this morning. It was very inspiring to see like a new generation of professionals that are trying to get where we were. It was interesting to see what people shocked about in the industry. There was a lot of emphasis on what industry to go into. We were saying, don't worry if your first job is not in the industry you want it to be in, because you can't always get to that industry. Mm -hmm. About to board our return flight to Gatwick after quite a successful couple of days meetings. Had some great conversations. We've got some keen interest in insight. So we're going to be putting our app hopefully into a really good restaurant just uh, near the station. So watch this space. Two, bit, two bits of really good news. We were in Norway for a few meetings. One of those meetings was a restaurant called Opland Burger and Steak. They've just said yes. And uh, Tamara and Land have just finished their meeting with Pete <laughs> and We had great service coming okay. from Hampshire and other white areas. Okay. We didn't want to just come to the office and say, by the way guys, we're now supporting Hiawa. There you go. He basically talked to all of our guys, just to explain why Hiawa is such an amazing journey to support, how everyone can get involved, and just sort of given a brief introduction. We just wanted somebody from the charity to explain what they do, how much it costs, and how even a small tiny contribution can help save life. Afterwards, we're going to have a meeting to discuss how how we can raise the money beyond just you know, selling cake for a small tech startup to support such a huge charity. 
Yeah. To maintain our, our life saving service, it costs the charity £15,000 every single day. On average, we're called out to about six missions a day. We are only called out to the most severe trauma incidents. That means, basically, if we do not intervene with this patient within the next 60 minutes, the probability is that patient will lose their life. We're having a little photo shoot with Junior. He's got lots of interviews and articles coming up and we need some nice pictures of him. So we're going to get some, some shots in the stairs, lots of some more candid shots of him working and maybe chatting with people. I'm up for it. Working baby. How are we looking? Oh, this is nice. Yeah, should we try some in the office? We are having a meeting about a, a Norwegian new client. Very exciting stuff. So we had our strangers meeting yesterday, so we just got a place to get some ideas. Yeah. We've got Happy birthday! I was in the middle of a yawn, Fabi. <laughs> Every week we do a bonus roll. Everybody pays a pound. Is the number and depending which number you want from the bonus ball lottery, it you matches your bonus ball. It's been a rollover for four weeks. And tomorrow's just one. Eighty-four. Eighty-four pounds. Congratulations. We need to sign Katie's birthday card. I'm just trying to think it's not funny. It's right, but nothing's coming to his brain. Big brain. What did you like? So what have we got so far? <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so far, okay. So we need to plan the video content from the new version of the website. At the moment it's very illustration heavy, but we've got some really big content now that will explain our solution better. We just need to go through and decide what video we need. We are doing the website copy at the moment. The plan is to get words down for everything today and then come back to it either tomorrow or Thursday because we're going a bit stir crazy. Where could everyone <laughs> be? Ah! Happy birthday, dear Kate. <laughs> Any last words? <laughs> 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 <laughs>